I am here, Levi Winslow, Kotaku.com, with Abe and Double A, co-project directors of this beautiful, exquisite, and really finely detailed Etika mural. What does Etika's legacy mean to y'all? Well, to me, Etika's legacy is mainly the inspiration that he gave to a lot of people. Like, uh, for a lot of the content creators that are out there, no one really filled that void that he left, but the amount of people that he just inspired is, well, it's an insane number of people that he just inspired to content create, to get more involved in communities, to just explore their creativity overall. Well, to me, it just means to, you know, be yourself. I think he accepted everyone and anyone. Um, he definitely touched a lot of people, inspired them to be the best of them, you know, themselves. At the top here, we got Joy-Con Boys. Who are they? Who are the Joy-Con Boys? So the Joy-Con Boys is the community that Etika brought together. It, it's mainly, of course, Nintendo fans, like uh, people that were fans of Nintendo. But when Nintendo is usually thought about in the content creator community, it's usually with a family-friendly, a very PG, a very cutesy tone. When Etika was making his content, he he brought the he brought the boys. It was more mature. It was cool. It was it was exciting. It was a little different than what was the norm. And whenever I think of the Joy-Con boys, the Joy-Con girls, women, men, everything in between, I always just think of Nintendo isn't just that cutesy image. There's a lot of cool, talented people behind it. It it's the boys. <laughs> Origins of it was when he was streaming. Remember, he had the, the fake switch and he kind of like showed it on stream and then he just said Joy Con Boy and said, That's how it came. Really big mural. How long did the mural take to put together? Um, and you've worked with BK Fox on this, right? Can you tell me a little bit about both the, the process of the mural and working with BK Fox? This mural, it took about five days in all to, to make it happen, but it took a year in planning it to happen. Can you tell me what the response has been to this mural? So the response has been all positive. Like every time someone you know, res you know replies to a tweet or DMs directly or emails, it's always filled with positivity. People are like, thanks. At, at most, there's always people like, I didn't even know you guys were doing this. Oh man, I, w I wish I knew. I would have, you know, I would have did something or whatever. But yeah. the fact that I could you know, Double A and I could just have a small part in keeping his legacy alive, like that I'll live with for the rest of my life is like a positive, just overall experience that I did. I'm really curious what you think Etika, how would he react to this mural? I, I think if, if he saw it, he would just be like, Br bring it in guys, bring it in. And like, just be like, you did good, you did good, you did good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, let's go yeah, for the sure. like, Yeah. No, but I, yeah. oh, like, like overall or whatever, I, I know that Etika Desmond, he knew how po how popular and how much of an influence and how much people loved and respect and like respected him and everything. He didn't wield that power with any malice or any negativity at all. He knew that children watched him and he treated him with the utmost respect and positivity and everything. It's all it's all positive and I think he would just really bask in that positivity and he'd bring it in. <laughs> We just wanted to let him know that we still love him. You know, he thought that we wouldn't and we wanted to keep his legacy alive, so, yeah. I love that. Um, you know, as someone who also suffers with suicidal ideation and depression, um, seeing what Etika went through, especially in those final moments, um, and seeing how the community has come together, you two putting this mural together is really special and raising awareness to something a lot of people discredit or discount. And speaking of suicide, um, suicide awareness, suicidal ideation and depression, um, I know that you two you know, are, are working within that cause to, to bring awareness to it. Can you talk to me a little bit more uh, about that work that you're doing and, and how this mural is a contributing factor to that? So right now, I would say a majority of what we're trying to do with the mural and everything is to bring awareness and not to, it, it's something with one of the NAMI directors sat and said to me, which I might've mentioned earlier, but when she sat with me, as much as they appreciate donations, and if you can donate, I would suggest donate to NAMI.org. They're a great organization, like they do great things and everything. But I would also say, if you can't donate, which is totally fine. What does a lot, especially for people that may or may not be in Etika's situation, is general awareness and reaching out to other people and just 
communication. And that helps so much more than people may realize. Yeah, I mean, just to roll off of that too, it's also like um, reaching out to your friends, your family, people who have any mental, you know, if they're having any, you know, hard times in their life, just make sure that you, they know that you're there for them. I think a lot of times when you're in that state, you know, especially me, it's like you feel very alone. And, you know, it's not weak to ask for help. It's okay to ask, you know, anybody for help. You know, you don't have to feel, you don't have to feel so isolated. So, yeah. Exactly. You heard it here first, folks. Check on your folks. Is there any way to make this mural a permanent fixture of Brooklyn, New York? What is Mayor Adams' uh, stance on this right now? So we haven't reached out to the mayor or anyone in government, but if we do want to keep it up longer and keep the longevity of it. I think what you guys are doing right here, the fact that people are paying attention to it and people come to it, they visit it, they take pictures, a vlog about it. As far as like Mayor Adams, there's a lot of red tape to get across. I mean, we might reach out to him at one point, but you know, we, you never know. Shout out to BK Fox. She made this happen. I mean, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have gotten this spot. She's amazing. She's a part of this community now. And yeah, if we ever have to do this again, she'll she'll come through. We're low key over here. Also, want a special thanks Graph Tours for giving us this wall. Yeah, if it stays up for five years, ten years, uh, you know, twenty years, the more attention it gets, the longer it will stay up. But if we have to do a part three, we'll do a part three, and we'll go on from there. Not ever stopping. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop the Joy-Con boys. Love that. Joy-Con boys forever. Yeah. Joy-Con boys forever. <laughs> yeah. Joy-Con boys forever. Bam. At Kotaku.com, you heard it.